Let's talk about Eyeless International. What's up investors and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Eyeless International, ticker ILUS. I've covered this stock back in April, but a lot has gone on with Eyeless over the past two months. This is one of the most volatile stocks I've covered on this channel, where we hit highs of 19 cent in February and March before a low of only 4 cents last week and is now trading at around 7 cents which is about 75% up on last week's low. So today we'll be looking at who exactly are Eyeless International. We'll look at the very latest news. We'll assess the most recent financial statements and look at the technical charts. Before we get into the video, it takes a lot of time to do this research. So if you find any value in this video, can I ask you to smash that like button? It literally costs nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 150 likes. Help me make that happen. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content. It's 100% free and a great way to show your support for the channel and shows me that you want to see more content like this. What do you think of Eyeless International? Have you invested and what price target do you have? I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Now let's get into it. So who are Eyeless International and what do they do? Eyeless is an M&A company operating out of New York, London, Dubai, focused on adding shareholder value by innovation and globally oriented growth. Basically, they're a holding company. Eyeless has evolved out of the industrial sector mainly from emergency services products, emergency response vehicles, vehicle conversions, EVs, wearable tech and smart tech, with the mission to acquire businesses in technology, engineering and manufacturing space worldwide with strong management and potential to grow rapidly with the ability to benefit from cross-pollination of territories, products, and skills from other group companies. We can see here that they currently hold four companies and we'll talk briefly about each one of these now. First, we have eRaptor. This is a company that designs and manufactures the world's first electric six-wheel utility vehicle. The eRaptor uses the most advanced battery technology for smooth and easy drive with excellent power. The eRaptor is fit for purpose in most industrial and agricultural applications. And these vehicles are fully customizable and commonly customized into firefighting vehicles, medical vehicles and maintenance utility vehicles. FB Technologies. This is a holding company for the Eyeless Group's fire and vehicles divisions. It is 100% owned by Eyeless International within specific core sectors where the potential of the group's technology platform skills, expertise and manufacturing bases can be maximized and shared. The group's technologies are focused around modernization cost efficiency and solving the modern problem that cities are growing larger and more congested with more demand for clients to perform quicker in more difficult conditions with better environmental practices and all at a lower cost. Then we have Firebug. Firebug are a UK firefighting equipment manufacturer using high technology disruptive water mist technology. The equipment offers firefighter safety with a reduced water consumption. With water being a valuable resource around the world, the mist nozzle deliberately uses less water during operation. Studies have shown a significantly increased efficiency in water usage during like-for-like -like product trials. A product that protects the environment makes firefighters safer and reduces operation costs. Firebug have a whole bunch of products that are already on the market. I would highly recommend that anyone thinking about investing take a look at the company's website. There's so much information on this Firebug website alone that I could easily make a video on just this. Then we have TVC, the vehicle converters. They design and convert vehicles for specialist applications such as emergency services, mobile hospitals, medical ambulances, military and oil and gas. Looking at the TVC website, we can see that a lot of vehicle conversions such as converting vehicles for healthcare, food trucks, and making custom trailers. TVC are masters of industry for the past 15 years, fabricating and converting specialist vehicles for a broad range of clients. And the range of clients is impressive. It includes some of the world's biggest companies such as Apple, Ford, KFC, Toyota, the US Army and the Red Cross. So at this point you probably see the correlation between these companies and what Eyeless are trying to achieve with each merger and acquisition. They've already stated it. Ability to benefit from cross-pollination of territories, products and skills from other group companies. They have a company that makes all-terrain vehicles a company that makes a range of fire safety products and a company that specializes in converting all types of vehicles for different types of industries. 
So, in huge news in the past few days, Firebug appoints India's largest firefighting vehicle and equipment manufacturer as its exclusive distributor and an OEM partner for India. So the company is also in the process of expanding its distribution networks and developing new partnerships for the increased uptake of its technology. Firebug's exclusive distribution agreement with VJ Fire Vehicles is for the resale of all Firebug technology in India, where VJ already maintains strong relationships with the government and private sector and holds numerous contracts for ongoing supply of firefighting vehicles and equipment. An OEM partnership agreement has been signed with VJ, which enables them to integrate components of Firebug's core paint and water mist technology into their own solutions for the large projects and high volume orders. This isn't a rumor, this isn't a plan, this is done, it's signed, it's a done deal. Firebug and VJ are now collaborating on the development of an all electric rapid response firefighting vehicle for the Indian market. Now, the next bit is huge. VJ Electric Rapid Response Firefighting Vehicle is already in high demand from the government, airports and manufacturing sectors in India. These are the sort of customers that you want the company to have. Governments, airports, manufacturing industry, huge, huge industries. VJ is listed as a recommended supplier to the Indian government. Again, fantastic. And is in the process of adding all Firebug products to the Indian government's purchasing portal, which will enable all government authorities to purchase Firebug products at the click of a button. This is incredible stuff. India has over 3,700 municipal bodies which are difficult for international manufacturers to infiltrate without a prominent partner and without being listed on the Indian government's supplier portal. Firebug's products have been undergoing rigorous testing by various government departments in India, including the Mumbai Fire Service, which serves a population of over 20 million people in one of the world's most congested and complex urban environments. The products are now approved, discussions are underway, and it's expected that VJ will deliver numerous government contracts with Firebug solutions. VJ Fire Vehicles has been operating in the fire industry in India for over 60 years and has successfully delivered thousands of vehicle equipment solutions and executed over 3,500 turnkey projects across India, Asia and the Middle East. The next paragraph highlights the massive potential here. As India's population is growing exponentially and urbanization continues to increase, the resulting spike in building and construction activity has led the Indian government enforcing stringent fire safety regulations across multiple sectors, including residential, commercial, airports and industries. This in turn is rapidly increasing the demand for firefighting vehicles and equipment in India. And these guys are no small company with big dreams either. VJ is the biggest player in the emergency services sector in India, and they are the company that every manufacturer wishes to partner with. So this is a significant achievement. In my opinion, this is incredible news for Eilis. The next piece of news is absolutely massive for the company too and came just a few days ago when Eilis published both the quarterly report and announced that Canadian stockbrokers may now trade Eilis stock again. As of the 2nd of June 2021, Canadian authorities officially revoked the cease trade order in Canada, allowing Eilis stock to be traded through Canadian brokers the Canadian authorities also approved the name change from Illustrato Pictures International to Eyeless International. This is something that we spoke about in my previous video. The company has been in the process of huge change since new management took over at the start of the year. This is not the company that it was. The state of Nevada also recognizes the name change to Eyeless International. However, the SEC will only approve the name change in the USA public markets once the company has submitted its Form 10, which management is busy preparing alongside the audit to become fully reporting. This will be huge. This is a stock that is currently pink limited information. When this becomes pink current, the share price will rocket up and I have no doubts about that. And this could be any time in the coming weeks, so be prepared. The company is also preparing and strengthening in preparation for rapid growth and a number of acquisitions are in the pipeline. This is what I love to hear. And this company is not all talk. They are actually making genuine progress and they have huge plans. Whilst the company is currently focused heavily on acquisitions, the organic growth is very the organic growth is very significant. The company plans to roll out a number of new products in the second half of this year 
and in an important strategic move, it plans to open a facility in the USA within the next three to four months, whilst also expanding its effort and footprint in India. Now, something that I spoke about in my last video, but I didn't go into huge detail, was that Eyeless had partnered with Toto Capital to raise funds and to bring the Eyeless coin to the market. The Eyeless coin was released on April 30th. I'm just going to give a bit of an update on this. The Eyeless coin is the first known coin globally which is contributing towards making the world a safer place while simultaneously delivering rewards and upside to Eyeless coin holders. Whilst the Eyeless group of companies are involved in the manufacture and distribution of patented emergency response and life safety equipment and services globally, the Eyeless coin will enable the much needed equipment and services to be delivered to the countries and organisations which desperately need it through innovative lease contracts. Not only could coin holders benefit from the substantial social responsibility fulfilment, but coin holders might reap significant financial rewards too. Both rewards and dividends may, may be made available to Eyeless coin holders through income from leasing contracts and the growth of Eyeless. In my opinion, one of the big things here is that the total supply is quite limited. There are only 100 million coins in total. Compare this to some of the other cryptos that have that we've seen emerge over the past 12 months that have billions of coins. Before we take a look at the most recent financials, if you're not aware of the amount of progress that Eyeless have been making over the past six months, just remember that they have done major deals, such as in February, Eyeless partnered with Milanian Group to integrate Eyeless Technologies with Milanian Autonomous Vehicle Technology. For me, this was a huge deal, and I spoke about this in the previous video, so I'm not going to go over it here. I just want you to be aware of it. And the same goes for when Eyeless acquired Bright Concepts Detection and Protection back in April. This is a company operating out of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, which is currently working on three large projects for major hotel groups, including a new five hotel and resort, the Rove Hotel, and a new 60-floor tower hotel in Dubai. So they already have big contracts and a very healthy multi-million dollar sales pipeline. And then finally we had the financing agreement with Total Capital to launch the Eyeless coin, which we've just mentioned. So let's move on to the recent Q1 results. So guys, the comparison in the financial statements for Q1 is comparing Q1 2021 with Q1 2020. And as we know, this is pretty much a new company since the start of the year. So I'm going to be flicking back to the year-end accounts to give a more relevant comparison. For those of you that appreciate this effort, please smash that like button. It genuinely helps me out so much. So when we look here at the balance sheet for Eyeless as at March 31st, we can see that they have roughly about 100,000 in cash and a little over 3 million in total current assets. They have another 100,000 in fixed assets and another 16.5 million through long-term investments, goodwill, and other assets, giving total assets of $19.8 million. Then we can see that they have total liabilities of 4.2 million, which gives them an asset to liability ratio of nearly five to one, which is fantastic. When we compare this to December 31st, we can see here that Eyeless had total assets of just 3.8 million and total liabilities of just shy of $600,000 and very little in way of cash. So over the past few months, they have added over $15 million in total assets and only $3.6 million in total liabilities. This is all extremely positive and this all looks fantastic. In my opinion, Eyeless are doing fantastic work and they will be due to have audited accounts out very soon, which will confirm how well they're doing. It will become pink current and they'll be able to change their name officially to Eyeless International. All of this will drive the share price up. The only concern that I have, and this is not a big concern, is that they only have 100,000 in cash, but they have about $4 million in liabilities in the form of accounts payables, note payables. But to offset this, they also have accounts receivables and inventories and total other current assets of $3.1 million dollars. So as I said, this is not a huge concern. I just want you to be aware of it. Then when we look at the profit and loss, we can see the Eyeless had sales of roughly half a million and gross profit of $200,000. Taking away the expense of about $55,000,
giving net ordinary income of $265,000. Then we can see here that they have this unrealized gain of 11.8 million, giving total net income of $12.1 million. I wouldn't read too much into this. These are unaudited accounts. So let's see how much of that 12 million is still here when these accounts are audited. So let's move on to the charts. So when we look at the charts, we can see that back here in January, this is where the new management took over and the company became the eye list that it is today. As we can see, straight away the share price went up and it continued to go up, hitting, hitting about 18 cents here in February. From that high point, it then dropped down to pretty much exactly what the share price is today. Look at this green line, it's exactly where it was. Before it rose up and went to over 17 cents again in March. Now as we can see here, this has been in this downward movement along with the majority of OTC penny stocks on the market, but at the start of this month, it hit its low point of just four cents. And as we can see here, it had been on a steady rise from June 1st, right up to June 7th. Look at these prices. It was just over four cents here, and it rose up to just under eight cents. That's nearly a 100% gain in only one week. These are the sort of profits that can be made on these sorts of companies, so before I give you my conclusion, let's take a quick look at this letter that the CEO issued just a few days ago. First he goes on to thank shareholders and to acknowledge the following the Eyeless are getting with gaining over 10,000 followers on Twitter in less than 6 months. He has also spoken about the future in terms of uplisting and mainly share buybacks, which would be both incredible things to happen from an investor's point of view. So for the time at least, they've said that spending cash on growth creates long-term value, but spending money on buybacks is a defensive situation that creates a short-term unsustainable price rise, so they are focused on nurturing the company's fundamentals and growing a healthy business. However, he has not ruled out buybacks in the future, just saying that they first must get the basics right and then buybacks could be considered in order to really make a long-term sustainable difference. And then in section 4 he's spoken about patents and patent restrictions on Eyeless worldwide and the cost and basically the cost it takes and the amount of time it takes to file for these patents. I'll put a link in the description if anyone is interested and wants to have a look at this. I would consider this very important reading if you're considering investing in this company. So guys that brings us to the end of the video. Before I give you my final thoughts, if you've watched all the way through then please hit that like button. It takes more time than you could imagine to research these companies and make these videos. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. I'll be running a competition later this month for subscribers. Like and subscribe to take part. More details coming soon and leave a comment to say that you've liked and subscribed so that I know. So what do I think? Really and truly, I can't believe this stock has dropped to the level that it's at. When I first reviewed this company, they were trading at 7 cents. And I fully expected that we would see at least 100% gain within a couple of months. However, on the other hand, this stock has dropped down to an unbelievably low point of only 4 cents. And I really hope that everybody was able to avail of those prices because I do not see Isla staying in the single digit cent prices for long. Look at the partnerships that they have. They have partnerships with VJ, with Melanian. They have made acquisitions of Firebug, Bright Concepts, the vehicle converters. Then look at the industries and markets that they're operating in. The, the United States, the United Arab Emirates, India. They have potential to make government contracts in India at least through the partnership with VJ. This is all incredible stuff. I think that investors have been handed an opportunity once more to get into this stock at an unbelievably cheap price. But as always guys, this is just my opinion. If anyone is thinking of buying into the stock, I encourage you to do your own research. Penny stocks are highly volatile and highly risky. So make sure that you can find as much information as you possibly can before investing in any company. If you find anything of interest that I have not mentioned in my videos, leave a comment down below and I'll look into it. As I said before, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Thanks for watching the video. What are your thoughts on the future of Eyeless and what are your price targets? Leave a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one.